Good morning guys, what's going on? John here. Happy Monday morning, Monday, Monday morning to you. Heading on to work. Um, enjoying, uh, looking forward to uh, starting off another good week. Uh, do you guys uh, like going to work on Monday morning? Stupid question maybe, I don't know, I do. Uh, do you love where you work? You know, do you? I mean, do you like, even like where you're working? Do you, uh, do you hate where you're working? Lots of hands go up right there. Um, don't worry, man, I ain't selling nothing. I'm just, uh, wondering, you know, uh, if you, if you didn't, uh, if you didn't have to go to work, what would you be doing? What would you be doing if you didn't have to go to work? If you didn't have to, well, if you could, let's let's change that question. All right. I kind of know what what the census is. All right. So, if you could work anywhere or do anything for your money, what would it be? What would it be? Where would you work? For me, I'm happy where I'm at. I really am. I mean, I, I I'm. Personally, I'm in real estate, so I don't create enough income on my own yet to support myself at my own business as my first stream of income. But where I'm working, I work at a real estate company. So going there, I pick off their some of their ideas, you know, some of their what they're doing currently to to make money. I was thinking, you know. What what you know? What is on their income statement? I look on their income. Oh, okay, this maybe I need to put that on my income statement when I'm looking to buy an apartment complex or you know a commercial unit. Yeah, I don't steal their ideas or anything. I just you know uh, enhance what I'm looking for and you know get some ideas of my own. You know, and uh, I mean income statement that's not uh, a proprietary to to anybody or anything. It's been around for. Forever for all companies. It's part of the, uh, you know, it's part of the accounting stuff, right? So, are you are you going in and you saying, man, I hate Monday, man, I don't want to be here. Uh, are you in the right place? I mean, are you? Is it just that it's early Monday and then once you get, you know, once you get going, it's it's okay. I mean. It's something that, I mean, I know some people, oh, geez, I know some people that just won't even talk to me on Monday morning, right? I mean, they're like, ah, man, I'm like, oh, okay, sorry, man, you know, I mean, geez. But, you know, some people, you know, maybe I'd say uh, half the people I talk to, they're like, hey, man, what's up, you know, hey. So, you know, they, they, they're they all right. And maybe just one or two people out of a hundred, I'd say, you know, are like, yeah, man, what's up, awesome, man, it's a, great to be here you know those kind of people are hard to find now, I'd like to think I'm one of them but uh, you know everybody has bad days everybody gets you know gets the stuff knocked out of them sometimes the wind knocked out of them and sometimes uh, it ain't a good day you know you just got to keep grinding and hustling but uh, you know so what does your day look like I mean what are you are you driving to work? Are you going to work? Are you at work thinking, man, I'm going to learn something today. I'm going to uh, use this knowledge, inform it in, in a different fashion, and use it and do something with, with my personal life, with my, with my personal business, with my LLC, with my corporation, my small corporation, whatever, right? I mean, are you using every opportunity uh, to gain knowledge and to put that knowledge to work. OPN, OPK, other people's knowledge, right? Um, OPM would be other people's money, right? Uh, but uh, other people's knowledge, you know, it's it's good to learn. I mean, read books about business, you know, and learn about their their business and how they're uh, they're uh, they're doing things. But uh, but back to work, you know, I mean. Is it if it's something you hate, man? I mean, think about you might want to think about uh, forming a side gig or something. You know, don't don't lose the mainstream income, right? I mean, you want to build it up. If if it's uh, something you want to, uh, if it's something you like, I mean, you got to kind of like it. You know, I mean, if 
you don't like it, if you hate what you're doing, yeah, build up your side gig on, on something that you're kind of interested in and then build, build, build until it can, uh, it produces, you know, two or three times the, the amount of income your, your, your main business is producing. And then dump that, you know, your, your first stream. But I mean, really, really the, the goal is, is to never, unless you hate it, right? Never, never dump that, uh, your, your primary uh, stream of income, right? Your primary source of income. Um, you know, that's, that's what's, you know, feeding you. That's what's keeping you, you, you know, supporting your family and whatever. Um, mainstream of income isn't so reliable so you know build the the second stream of income to where if the first stream dies you'll be all right I mean you know that's that's the whole key but you know you build 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 on that first stream until you can't build anymore right until it doesn't uh, until it's time and you know when it's time, you know it's time. There's no more further up you can move. No more side gigs on your first stream of income. You know, uh, to where you you can you know form your second stream of income. So as you're you know, but don't do the the point is right. Don't do many things at once, right? I mean, if you're trying to do you know internet marketing you know, real estate, you know, uh, MLMs, network marketing, uh, selling, you know, health stuff, all that stuff at once, it, you can't really focus, right? Focus, focus on one course until successful, right? I mean, you got to focus. And to focus, you focus on that mainstream, mainstream, you keep hitting it, keep hitting it until it won't give anymore. You know, you just tap into it, keep tapping, tapping, you know, but, but once that mainstream is set and you're kind of in a groove and you know what's going on, you're the master of the mainstream, right? Then you want to build up your second stream, right? Whatever it is, you know, this could be your, your, your passion. I mean, the reason why you're not enjoying go to, going to work on Monday morning. Right? This could be whether you play guitar or whether you sing or whether you crochet or whether you like pets or whatever. I mean, you know, you can build a business upon that. You know, ideally, it would be, if you like your main source, ideally it would be connected, you know, synergized, you know, and sync, synchronized with your mainstream of income so you, can, you don't, you're not off doing this, then you're off doing this, but... You know, I mean, some people might disagree with me, and I'm sure they will, but you don't want to, but, you know, if you hate, if you hate or you dislike your, your main source of income, then you start building your secondary source, you know, and, and to become your main, but don't, don't quit your job. I mean, you hear a lot of people saying, oh man, you can make millions doing this, you quit your job and come over here, you know, doing this opportunity, right? Opportunities are great. I love opportunities. And you know it's the same with everything else. You got to hustle with that whatever opportunity you're doing, and you can make money. Um, but um, don't destroy your main source, your main stream, your main flow of money, income, freedom, choice. You know, money money brings you choices, man. I mean, you know. So don't destroy that until you've got, uh, you know. Well, never, I mean, really, but if you wanted to be free from your job, free from working from, for somebody else, you don't want to change one job. You know, well, I've done this, I've done this, right? So I changed it back in uh, 2000 and before the crash, back in two, 2008, 9, 10, I, I, I quit my main job to, to form a uh, advertising business, right, in DeSoto. So I didn't have, I had some money saved up, um, and I didn't have a mainstream coming in because I said, man, I'm going to rock this thing, I'm going to do great, and everybody knows what happened, 2008, 9, 10, the Great Recession came, and nobody was buying, nobody was doing anything. You know, I couldn't go to somebody and say, hey man, 
I'll sell you this $20 bill for 10 bucks. I say, I ain't got the money, man. So, I mean, it's like, dude. Uh, so, well, that business ended up going down, you know, and I had to uh, retreat, regroup, work another job. Uh, but uh, that's okay. I mean, that's sometimes you got to regroup and then build up your sources, resources, and then just, uh, and just uh, figure out another way to go about it and build up that mainstream, you know, and keep that mainstream until your other streams are bringing in so much freaking flow of money. And, you know, money is not a bad thing, right? I mean, money, you know, I'm not, you know, um, saying that, you know, money is evil or whatever, all that other stuff, well, I'm not going to get into that debate. All I'm saying is money for me gives me choices, gives me opportunities. Let's me take my kids, you know, to 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 the little ninja warrior place because it costs money. It lets me, uh, you know, lets me and my family go on vacations, right? Because it needs money. You know, everything that you want to do, and not everything, you can go outside to the park, or whatever. But most everything I want to do, you know, costs money, right? And and the mindset is. Make enough money to do what you want, right? I mean, it's my my ten year old son's like, Dad, just make some more money. I'm like, yeah, man. it's a very simple idea, right? But it's not easy to implement, right? It's simple but not easy. It's kind of like I went to the uh, to the doctor the other day. He's like, dude, I got I got uh, I'm high on cholesterol. My cholesterol's high, but he's like, dude, I got two two very simple things for you to do to fix that. I'm like, oh, oh, two simple things. Great, great. He's like, diet and exercise, bro. I'm like, oh, come on, man. That ain't simple. He's like, yeah, it is. It's very simple, but it's not easy. You know, you got to watch what you eat. That ain't easy. That's hard. You know, I said, yeah, you know what? Today I planned on, since I'm fasting right now for you, doc, you know, to do all these tests and whatever, I'm, I'm, I'm planning on going and getting me some ribs up at the barbecue place. You know, and so you know, got me some ribs that day. But then the, starting the next day, I got me a hamburger. You know, it's like, dude, what are you doing, man? It's not easy, but the idea is simple, right? Um, but I'm trying to eat healthier and stuff. But uh, other, besides that, I don't know where the hell I was going with this. But do the things that you can do, little steps, right? I mean. Um, Put one foot forward, you know. I mean, look at look at some things online. You know, if you want to make more money right now, I mean, right now, you know, there's in just boom, the bumps of money, boom, right there, right. The the only way to do that with you know right now, like tomorrow, next week, you know, without going back to school and without you know taking you know. Uh, taking long courses, paying a bunch of money, um, is sales, right? I mean, you got to sell something, man. I mean, if, if you if you want to go from 50 grand to 100 grand in the next year, boom, 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 you're selling something, right? You're selling something anyway, right? I mean, shoot, you're selling yourself, right? I mean, every day, right? When you go in and you're that crabby guy, Mr. Krabs or whatever, or if you're, you know, in good mood and everyone's like, damn, man, what what happened to him? You know. Um, you're still selling, man. You're selling something. But I'm not here to talk you into sales or anything. I'm just saying that's the one way, that's the quickest way uh, to figure out, uh, to, to make big jumps, jumps of income. But there's other ways, too. Gradually, you know, you can do, uh, if you like speaking or if you like writing, you know, you can do, go to the blogs or you can go do uh, YouTube videos. And, and uh, it take you take you about, you know, if you do it consistently, you know, for that, you know, Miles Beckler, he's he's built a big following over nine months doing a video. Uh, at first, he did 100 videos in 100 days. I mean, it takes work. Everything takes work, man. You know, um, whether it's you know passive income, right? You go out and buy your apartment complex or rental homes or you know something. Uh, passive income is sometimes ain't that passive, but you got to do the work in the background. To, to receive that passive income, but you know that's that's kind of what I'm working on the real estate deal. Uh, not kind of that that is what I'm working on. So um, so I 
guess my main point here is if you're liking what you're doing at work keep doing it try to find side streams of income at work you know go to the boss and say hey what else can I do right what else can I do to make more money you know what else can I do I mean you need something done here you need something done in this other department you know, I mean if you work for a big company you might be able to switch to a different department or work for the other department after hours you know something to make more money and if you don't like what you're doing you know start building a second stream you know I mean the internet's out there right yeah internet you know social media marketing uh, everybody you know the, not everybody lots of people are are becoming you know social media uh, uh, coaches to, to businesses because you know most businesses especially big businesses small businesses every business lots of businesses they don't know how to social media market I mean yeah, they might have a website. Yeah, they might have a Facebook, but no one's no one's doing it for them. They don't know how to set it up on Hootsuite or you know automatically capture you know who who's saying something about something in your industry, right? I love pets. Bam, send out something that says, hey, buy your pets here if you're local, right? You target the local market. Well, yeah, whatever that kind of thing, right? Um, a lot of companies don't know how to do that, so you know, become a social marketer. I mean. You know, you can, what you want to do is first figure out, first figure out here, okay, here's the key right here. First figure out what you like to do, right? What do you like to do, man? I mean, if you like real estate, I mean, I love real estate. I'm going to a real estate company job. You know, I'm going to figure out something about real estate. I'm going to learn real estate today. Then I'm going to come back home, apply it. I'm going to send out uh, offers to, to my leads. I'm going to build my lead funnel. Um, I'm going to call on, on uh, potential sellers, you know, I'm going to uh, write them letters, I'm going to uh, knock on their doors, I'm going to do whatever, man, I mean, you know, and that's weird, man, that's, that's interesting to me, man, I mean, it's like, what, I mean, and it, and it brings me money, you know, so I can have choices, so I can do the things I want, if you want to do things you want, of course you do, everybody does, right, no one wants to sit around on the couch and just come turn to a vegetable man I mean that ain't what life's about right life's about going out doing stuff vacation you know playing uh, you know and, and money get you there how are you gonna make your money leave a comment below how are you gonna make your money how are you gonna increase your main flow of income how are you gonna create a secondary flow of income let me know your thoughts and uh, as always I'll, I'll comment I'll reply to your comments and uh, you know, I appreciate uh, you watching. If you like what you heard, please, you know, like, subscribe, comment, and uh, hope hope you uh, have a great day on this wonderful Monday morning. And uh, as always, be a light, speak truth, change lives, and I wish you much success in your business and in life. Peace, man.